Thank you for listening to the Gospel of Matthew as presented by Bible in Context. The translation used in our audio Bible is the World English Bible. Here is a brief introduction that can help you to gain a better and richer understanding of the book of Matthew and its context. Who wrote the book of Matthew? The book of Matthew was written by Matthew, one of Jesus' twelve apostles. Before he became a disciple of Jesus, Matthew worked as a tax collector, a profession that was often looked down upon by the Jewish people. Tax collectors were seen as traitors because they worked for the Roman government, and many were known to be dishonest. Despite his unpopular job, Matthew responded to Jesus' call and left everything behind to follow him. As one of Jesus' closest followers, Matthew witnessed many of the events he recorded in his gospel. When was the book of Matthew written? The exact date when Matthew wrote his gospel is not known, but it is generally believed to have been written between A.D. 45 and 55. This would place it not long after Jesus' death and resurrection. Some scholars believe that Matthew might have written his gospel first among the other gospels, especially because it was aimed at a Jewish audience who were familiar with the Old Testament prophecies about the Messiah. Why was the book of Matthew written? Matthew wrote his gospel to show that Jesus is the promised Messiah and King that the Jewish people had been waiting for. The Jewish people were familiar with the Old Testament prophecies that spoke about a coming Savior, and Matthew's goal was to prove that Jesus fulfilled these prophecies. By doing this, Matthew aimed to convince his fellow Jews that Jesus was truly the one they had been expecting. Why was the book of Matthew placed first in the New Testament? Matthew's gospel is placed first in the New Testament because it serves as a bridge between the Old and New Testaments. Matthew frequently quotes the Old Testament, showing how Jesus fulfills the prophecies, and this would have resonated strongly with a Jewish audience. By starting the New Testament with Matthew, the transition from the Old Testament to the New Testament is smoother as it connects the story of Israel with the life and teachings of Jesus. The main aspect of Jesus emphasized in the book of Matthew. The book of Matthew emphasizes Jesus as the King of the Jews. Throughout the Gospel, Matthew highlights Jesus' royal lineage, tracing his ancestry back to King David, which was crucial for the Jewish understanding of the Messiah. By portraying Jesus as the king, Matthew is showing that Jesus has the authority to rule and that he is the fulfillment of God's promises to his people. Who was Matthew writing to? Matthew's primary audience was Jewish Christians, Jews who had come to believe that Jesus was the Messiah. He wrote in a way that would connect with their knowledge of the Hebrew Scriptures, the Old Testament. By frequently referring to these scriptures, Matthew aimed to show that Jesus' life and ministry were a direct continuation and fulfillment of God's plan as revealed in the Old Testament. What is the main message of Matthew? The main message of the book of Matthew is that Jesus is the long-awaited Messiah, the King who was promised in the Old Testament. Matthew emphasizes the kingdom of heaven, a term he uses frequently to describe the reign of God that Jesus came to establish. Key themes include Jesus' teachings on righteousness, the fulfillment of Old Testament prophecies, and the importance of living according to God's will. How is the book of Matthew structured? The book of Matthew is organized in a way that presents Jesus' life, teachings, and mission clearly. 1. Genealogy and Birth of Jesus, chapters 1-2 Matthew begins with Jesus' family tree, showing his royal lineage, followed by the story of his miraculous birth. 2. Jesus' ministry begins, chapters 3-4. to four. This section covers John the Baptist's announcement of Jesus, his baptism, and the temptation in the wilderness. 3. The Sermon on the Mount, chapters 5-7. to seven. Here, Jesus delivers some of his most famous teachings, including the Beatitudes, which outline the values of the kingdom of heaven. 4. Miracles and Parables, chapters 8 to 13. 
Matthew describes many of Jesus' miracles and parables which illustrate the nature of the kingdom of heaven. 5. Opposition and Preparation for His Death, Chapters 14-20 As Jesus' ministry progresses, He faces increasing opposition, and He begins preparing His disciples for His coming death. Number 6. The Passion and Resurrection, Chapters 21-28 the final chapters cover Jesus' entry into Jerusalem, his crucifixion, and his resurrection, ending with the Great Commission, where Jesus sends his disciples to spread the gospel to all nations. What makes Matthew unique among the four Gospels? Matthew's Gospel is unique in its strong emphasis on Jesus fulfilling Old Testament prophecies. It contains more references to the Old Testament than any other Gospel, making it especially meaningful to Jewish readers. Matthew also includes more of Jesus' teachings in extended form, such as the Sermon on the Mount, and presents Jesus as a teacher and king with authority over both spiritual and earthly realms. Why is the book of Matthew important for Christians today? The teachings in the book of Matthew are highly relevant to Christians today. Jesus' instructions on how to live, found in the Sermon on the Mount and other teachings, guide Christians in their daily lives. The emphasis on Jesus as the King reminds believers of His authority and the importance of submitting to His rule in all aspects of life. Additionally, Matthew's Gospel encourages Christians to see Jesus as the fulfillment of God's promises, deepening their faith and trust in God's plan. How to Read and Understand Matthew To get the most out of reading Matthew, it helps to focus on the following. 1. Look for connections to the Old Testament. Notice how often Matthew refers back to Old Testament prophecies and stories. 2. Understand the cultural context. Knowing the Jewish customs and expectations of the Messiah can help make sense of Jesus' actions and teachings. 3. Reflect on Jesus' teachings. Consider how Jesus' words apply to your life today, especially his teachings on love, forgiveness, and righteousness. What does Matthew teach us about Jesus? The book of Matthew teaches us that Jesus is not only a wise teacher and miracle worker, but also the King and Messiah promised in the Scriptures. His life and work fulfill God's promises, showing that God's plan is trustworthy and true. As we reflect on Jesus' character, His compassion, authority, and commitment to God's will, we are called to follow Him more closely and live as citizens of his kingdom.